good morning. Today is the day of the Plitfish Lakes. We are very lucky that it isn't going to rain because we weren't sure if we would go to the Plitfish Lakes. So we are now packing our stuff, going to charge the car and then head to the Plitfish Lake. Our Airbnb host prepared us an amazing breakfast with this beautiful view. And after we finished, it was time to buy uh, tickets because someone forgot to buy the tickets online while well, we said it to him four weeks ago but uh, doesn't matter uh, I hope the line isn't too long and then we will enjoy the lakes I will show them to you and I will keep you updated. As we walked from the parking to the ticket office we were a bit nervous as there would be a possibility the tickets would have been sold out and as we got closer and closer to the ticket office the goosebumps were getting all over us but eventually we were able to get the tickets and get to see the main attraction of the whole of Croatia, the Plitfish Lakes. Well, we're now at uh, the Plitfish Lakes, it really looks amazing, the waterfalls are very mighty and big and a lot of water so you don't need to worry about it drying up in the summer. We were uh, Lucky when we were buying uh, the ticket, the ticket office wasn't that crowdy, so we didn't have to wait in line too much. It was just two people before us, so that's a good thing. Now uh, we are already in the park and at the entrance you already have the big and mighty waterfalls. And I can wait to show you guys some As more. We got deeper and deeper into the park and were greeted by the soothing sounds of the rushing water and the chirping birds. It felt like we were stepping into a fairy tale world. As we started walking through the path, we came across the first of the 16 lakes that make up this beautiful UNESCO site. Well, like I expected, the lakes and the waterfalls are really amazing. I mean, look how blue the water is behind me and <laughs> I still can't believe it. It's a beautiful place again and again. And yeah, Croatia should definitely be on your practice. Well, this is the waterfall. And like I said, it's very mighty. Definitely a place to check. Check this out. As we enjoyed the view of the park's tallest waterfall, Veliki Slap, which is 78 meters tall, we continued exploring this mesmerizing place where we were greeted by other waterfalls, caves and crystal clear lakes as we eventually finished the trail and got back to where we began. Yeah, so we just finished the Plitvis Lake. We took the A trail, that's the shortest trail there is. The waterfalls are amazing, the lakes are amazing. To be honest, I wish we took the longer trail because there's much more to see, but because of time management, we weren't able to. But if you're ever in Croatia, don't you dare to miss out on the Plitvis Lake. As we said goodbye to this beautiful site, it was time to head to Upatia to check into our villa for the upcoming days. So we just arrived in Upatija and we are about to check in our Airbnb. And yeah, I can promise you it will be amazing. So stay this tuned. This beautiful villa which we rented has a beautiful garden with a variety of trees. And as you get into the villa and pass through the hallway, on your left you'll find a big living room with a huge terrace with views of the infinity pool, the sea and your own private tennis court. Well, we just finished checking in and now we are on our way to a restaurant and eat some food. I will keep you updated again on how the restaurant is, if it's something I would recommend or not. Stay tuned. So we now arrived at uh, Opatija. Now we are going to look for a restaurant. It seems like a very cozy town. It's also called the Pearl of the Adriatic. I'm very, very curious on how the As town will the be golden like. rays of the setting sun painted the streets of Opatia, we found ourselves on a delightful quest for a nice restaurant. This charming town has a peaceful atmosphere of tranquility and with each step I wandered through the beautiful streets and narrow alleys enchanted by the town's timeless beauty. The Adriatic Sea shimmered in the distance producing a beautiful sunset as we got closer and closer to an amazing restaurant at the port of the Blue Pearl of the Adriatic Yacht Club 
Earlier at the restaurant, and I can tell you the views over here are amazing. Directly at the sea, at the harbor, and you see all kinds of yachts and little boats. So, definitely for the views, I would definitely recommend it. And I will keep you updated on how the food is. Uh, so, uh, we had a great dinner, the, the food was great. We definitely recommend it. You have a great view, uh, good food, good taste. If you're ever in Croatia and Opatija, then this is definitely a place to go to. Well, this is a good night walk through a park with no lighting. This was a shortcut to our car where we have a park. We went for a walk back to our car and also to digest our food. On arrival, we were greeted by a surprising guest in our villa. Say welcome to our giant insects. I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know if it's dangerous or not, but it's big. <laughs> After we felt guilty leaving our guest outside all alone, we decided to follow him outside to keep him company and take a nice relaxing moment in our jacuzzi to come to our senses and recover from a long day and end the night with a nice refreshing midnight swim at the beautiful infinity pool the villa has to offer. Well, good morning everyone. What a great day is it today. It's very sunny, very bright and yeah no better way to wake up than uh, also enjoying a very good view well we are now on our way to pula and uh, we had a hectic checkout out of our villa we thought we could check out 12 pm but it was 10 am so the host asked us kindly to do as quick as possible to leave because he had other guests coming so that was definitely our fault but uh, we managed and now we're uh, on our way to Pula we will see the amphitheater and we'll also go to the seagull rocks maybe enjoy a beach and yeah that will be the last part of Croatia where we will be and then afterwards we will uh, head to Germany so we just arrived and we are now heading to the seagull rocks I'm curious in how we will uh, like the seagull rocks some uh, I hope to do some uh, cliff jumping and uh, keep you updated. So we're here at the Seagull Rocks. Uh, yeah, I wanted to jump off the cliff, but I see a lot of tea urchins within the sea. Yeah, I don't know if I should, uh, should go. I don't think I will go because yeah, if I'm in the sea and I get bit and I have, that will cause a lot of pain, that could cause a problem to swim back. So As I will skip that. As we weren't one. able to cliff jump, we headed to the beach next to the seagull rocks called Cyclone Beach for a nice swim and some sunbathing in the sun. It's slippery over there. Look, 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 he's gonna fall. <laughs> so I just went for a quick swim and now we are taking off, going to eat some pizza and then we will go continue our journey. We are going to Germany. Unfortunately, the weather says it isn't going to be good weather. So I hope they're wrong because I would love to see the German Alps and the Eipsi. But let's hope that the weather will still be fine over there and show you a good quality. Well, we just arrived in Pula. Now we're at the amphitheater and it's the most complete amphitheater which is still standing so even more complete than the one in Rome and it's a very beautiful site I would definitely recommend everyone who goes to Pula to go to this place and let me show now you now we've arrived in the highlight of the city of Pula an ancient wonder that stands as a testament to the ingenuity of past civilizations the magnificent Pula amphitheater well I'm here at the gallery of the amphitheater uh, it's not an entrance to the amphitheater but it has uh, just some art so if you're interested in that you can go in here. Uh, it's not very big, but it's definitely worth uh, worth a check if you are into art. So I'm here within the amphitheater inside and it's a big place. It's also, uh, yeah, entrance is around 70 kuna, so that's around 10 euros uh, for an adult or 35 kuna if you're a student or if you're below the age of five. So that's half the price. And let me show you some more of the amphitheater 
and what it has to this offer. This amphitheater is the best preserved amphitheater in the whole world and it's almost two millennia old. As we step inside its colossal walls, we can almost feel the echoes of the past reverberating through time. So this is the premises where they uh, kept the beasts. I think they uh, were unleashed before they were fighting the prisoners or gladiators. I'm not sure which beasts, I think lions, that would be uh, the things I would see in a movie. So imagine this place here were kept the lions and the beasts. Amazing place. And uh, over here, over there you have the where the crowd sits. Truly amazing place. I couldn't help but feel a sense of reverence for the centuries of history that had unfolded within these ancient walls. The echoes of gladiator battles and cheering crowds seemed to linger in the air, a reminder of the past that have been so wonderfully preserved. As I exited the amphitheater's towering arches and the Croatian sun began its slow descent over the picturesque city of Pula, it was time to bid farewell to the magnificent ancient amphitheater that had left me awestruck with my heart still racing from the historical marvels I had witnessed. So we just parked our car and we are on our way to Jupiter, which is believed to be the most the best pizzeria in Pula and Pula also has good pizzas from what I've heard so I will test it out and we'll let you know. Well, now we are uh, in Jupiter. You can pay with car. It's a pizzeria. Oh, I'm curious now. Uh, I ordered a Zanini special which has cream, tomatoes, parmesan, spinach. Uh, also usually it has bacon but me as a Muslim I don't eat bacon so I ask, ask if it's possible to remove it uh, for them it's no problem so if you want to modify some little things and then uh, it's possible and uh, yeah I'm curious on how to taste so this is the tuna pizza this is the margarita pizza and this is the Zanini special it's with uh, spina cream sauce uh, Parmesan cheese. Well, we just had our dinner in Jupiter. I can really see why it's called the best pizzeria in Pula. The pizzas are really good, even though we didn't eat pizza with meat or chicken, which we actually love better. Uh, it still was very delicious and they were all very exceptional. Um, much better than other tuna or margarita pizzas I have tried before. So definitely a thing to do. With a heart full of gratitude and a camera filled with unforgettable memories, I knew these memories will be a cherished piece of my journey through Croatia and as the sun finally set on the horizon, I bid farewell to Pula as we are on our way to Germany. <laughs>